So, um, what we have these days is called shopping therapy. The shopping therapy. Um, and what I would highly recommend to the arts is step in and say, no, it's art therapy that people need. Um, it's not good for the environment to go buy stuff you don't need and then you just throw it out. It's a whole new generation coming where we don't do that. If you buy something, you keep it for a long time. But that's going to change the economy from this throwaway society. But in training for the arts and understanding the arts and participating, it's not really a snob factor like people would like you. It's just good. And some you get, some you don't get. But the more training in music, dance, in the fields of theater, um, visual arts, videos, movies, the happier we're going to be because it's just so hollow to go out and buy something that's going in the landfill. It's probably not biodegradable. Um, so, you know, as a visionary, what I see in the next 10 years is people realizing that and putting more arts and music and dance and theater, something that will bring your soul and citizenship to light about our privileges here in the United States and the most important thing which is our personhood, taking care of our health. Arts does that. Art takes care of your psychological and if you're dancing your body and everybody it, it's not an option. We have in the future we have art. Art's a part of our day just like sports and reading and writing and a little arithmetic and travel. Um, but yeah like the shopping thing I mean, if it, I want to design vintage clothing for people that they can put on and take off and experience what vintage clothing is. I'm, I'm sorry if it's not really 100 years old, but if you wear a dress like this for the fun of it, you'll feel different. You tie that corset and, you know, and we have a following of people that want to have different vintage outfits. And I would like to offer that to people. Thank you.